Welcome back to Lab Cyber, and in today's video, I wanted to share my thoughts or address a particular topic or question that has become very, very popular over the last few months, and that is whether or not cybersecurity is an entry level position. Or, in other words, are there any actual real entry level positions in cybersecurity? Now, the reason why this particular question has become so popular is because in the cybersecurity community, and especially on platforms like LinkedIn, you will see people complaining about how they saw this role being advertised by a company. It was supposed to be an entry-level position, but then one of the requirements for such a position is that the candidate has some relevant years of experience. So how does that make any sense? You're saying this position is entry-level, and the usual definition of an entry-level position would be one that requires no previous working experience, yet one of the requirements to get this particular role, this entry-level role, is that you have years of experience. So it doesn't make any sense. So people are now asking, all these entry-level positions within cybersecurity, are they truly entry-level or is there more to it? So I'm gonna address that in this video and also, a few students of mine have expressed their concern about their ability to actually launch their career in cybersecurity because even though we keep getting bombarded with all this information about how, oh, there is this huge demand for cybersecurity professionals, uh, by the year 2030, there's going to be like 65 million positions available. Why is it that on one hand, we keep hearing about this shortage of cybersecurity professionals and yet... When it comes to the hiring process, it can be extremely competitive in cybersecurity. So what exactly is going on here? I'm going to address that one as well. So let's begin, first of all, with the very first question. Are there any real entry-level positions within cybersecurity? And my answer is yes and no. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a very, very simple answer to provide. But which one is it? Is it yes or is it no? Let me explain. As I said earlier, the typical entry-level position should be one where the candidate isn't required to have any previous working experience. This would be the kind of role that your fresh graduate out of college would typically go for, right? So they don't have any previous working experience and they're expected to learn on the job. So the usual kind of tasks or roles that this particular person would have to be involved in would be very, very simple, nothing sensitive and so on, right? However, in cybersecurity, even though, yes, we do have positions that are entry level, like your security analyst, the reality is that even though it is entry level, you're still expected to have some years of experience. However, the confusion here is that when the company says experience, they're not necessarily referring to cybersecurity experience. They're talking in most cases experience in other fields within IT. So whether it's web development or programming or database management or software development, any other field within IT will be considered as working experience for cybersecurity. Why? Well, the thing about cybersecurity is that you will find something about everything in IT in cybersecurity. Think about it. Whether it's software or hardware or networks or code or websites or apps, all these things will require security as well. You cannot build a website that can be easily hacked. You cannot build an app that can be easily hacked. You can't have a database where anyone can easily hack into. It's just not gonna make any sense. So you're always gonna find elements of cybersecurity in all these other fields as well. That is why your employer or whoever conducts your interview, HR, when you have years of experience in another field within IT, you are going to have a significant advantage over another candidate who is making this big switch from a non-related IT field over to cybersecurity. So, 
I know what you might be thinking. Hey, Alex, I don't have any previous background experience in IT. I work in finance or I'm a chef or I, I, I work in marketing. What am I going to do? What you need to do is in addition to learning the basic skills under cybersecurity and also getting your certification, you need to also learn some skills in other fields within IT as well. This will improve your chances. So whether you can learn the basics of HTML and CSS or even WordPress for website development, or you know some very basics of programming, or you know something about databases, or you know something about software development, these skills will help you and it will improve your chances of getting that entry level position. Because here's the thing, okay? If you're going up against that candidate who's got two years of experience in another IT field, you need to be able to demonstrate to your hiring manager that look, even though I'm coming from a completely non-related IT field over the cybersecurity, I have what it takes. And you can prove that to them by showing them that you've learned again some basics of website development. You've learned some cybersecurity skills like how to use tools like your Nmap, Wireshark. You've learned some basics about uh, Linux. You know how to use the Linux operating system to a certain extent. Maybe you've even built a virtual lab in your house. When you show the employer that, look, I have done these things, I have some practical knowledge, this will show willingness to learn and will also prove to the employer that you have what it takes to succeed within cybersecurity. So please do not make this mistake in thinking that when companies say, oh, we're looking for somebody with two years working experience, even though they may say cybersecurity experience, the reality of it is that they're talking more about experience within IT in general, not just cybersecurity. Now, the other question, which is, why is it that even though we hear about this huge demand for cybersecurity professionals, getting hired even for entry-level positions can be very, very competitive? Why? There's two major reasons to this. First of all, when the government says, oh, 10 million jobs available in cybersecurity, nine times out of 10, that number is usually inflated. It may not be 10 million. It's more like 7 million, maybe 8 million at the very most. But also keep in mind when, they, when they're talking about all these positions, they're not referring just to, just, just to entry-level positions. They're also talking about all that kinds of positions as well, whether it's a junior position, a senior position, maybe a managerial position. All of these are all combined together. So it's not just entry-level positions. In fact, I can guarantee you that the majority of such positions that will be available will typically be maybe like a junior position, senior position, or maybe even a managerial position as opposed to an entry-level position. That's why there's always that confusion. We keep hearing about this shortage of cybersecurity professionals. Yes, they're talking about cybersecurity professionals with years of experience. They're not talking about fresh graduates from college. That's not the kind of people they're talking about. So... Just to recap, when we're talking about cybersecurity and entry-level positions, yes, these positions will be classified as entry-level, like your security analyst. Uh, maybe the responsibilities will, will include you monitoring traffic on the firewall. Maybe you're monitoring the logs of your firewall, intrusion prevention system, and intrusion detection system, and so on. Uh, maybe you might be asked to install anti-malware, update them, things like that. These will be kind will, will be the kind of skills that you would have been expected to know how to perform. And of course, you can teach yourself these kinds of skills. There are courses available online that will teach you the basics of IT. I do have courses that will cover the basics of IT for you if you're interested. I'll have a link down in the box below just in case you're interested in taking the course. But you owe it to yourself, especially if you're somebody with no relevant IT experience to update yourself on the basics of IT. Learn something about hardware. Learn something about software. Learn as much as you can about networking because networking is like the right hand of cybersecurity. Learn a little bit about programming. Learn a little bit about website development. And I guarantee you, combined with some cybersecurity practical skills that you've gained and also your certifications, 
you will have a much, much better chance of getting that entry level position in cybersecurity and launching your career within cybersecurity. So let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Let's talk about this because it's a very, very, very interesting topic, a very, very interesting question. Those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, share this video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber, where I discuss all things cybersecurity related. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.